A person of mass mkg stands on the floor of an elevator while the elevator is at rest. The following forces act on the person. The normal force n is vertically up. The gravitational force w equals mass times acceleration due to gravity is vertically down. Draw the free body diagram. Write the equation of motion. Welcome to hdtvedu.com, direct and simple education in seconds. You watch, you play, you pause, you learn. If you are asked to draw the free body diagram, isolate the non-zero mass, isolate the non-zero mass, define directions, positive x, negative x, positive y, negative y. Draw all forces acting on this isolated mass. And if I were you, I will break all forces into components, x and y components, indicate the direction of acceleration, if any. Now, we are given two forces, normal force and the gravitational force. You know that gravitational force is always going to act vertically down. So, so what happens to the normal force? Normal force is from the surface. Without the surface, you know what happens. You will be in free fall. So the surface prevents you from going through a free fall. So what has to be the force from the surface? The normal force and it has to act vertically up. Why? Because you are at rest. You expect the net force on you to be zero. For the net force, to be zero while you know the gravitational force is certainly acting on you. There's only one thing you can do and that is to have the normal force acting vertically up. They have to be equal and opposite. So normal force and mass times gravity has to be equal but in opposite directions. So normal force acts vertically up. Gravitational force acts vertically down. So this is the correct figure. In A, you see normal force is greater than gravitational force. Normal force is greater than gravitational force. So what happens in A? There is a net force and that net force is up, vertically up. That means you have a non-zero acceleration. What about B? You have normal force acting vertically up, gravitational force acting vertically down. Those two are equal. So net force is zero. If net force is zero, acceleration is zero. For C, you see that normal force is smaller than gravitational force. So acceleration is non-zero. There is a net force. For our problem, we have to choose B as the answer because for our problem, net force is zero. So normal force and gravitational force are equal and opposite. So normal force and gravitational force, they are equal and opposite, so acceleration is zero. Net force by common sense, bigger force minus smaller force equals net force. We are told that acceleration is zero. We are told that it is at rest. That means net force is zero. That means force up is equal to force down. Force acting vertically up should be equal to force acting vertically down. What acts vertically up? Normal force. What acts vertically down? Gravitational force. So normal force is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. mg is equal to n. Now if you want to do the vector sum, you know that the normal force acts along positive y. You know that the gravitational force acts along negative y. So you know that the net force by vector sum of components is given by whatever you put as positive has to act along positive y. And whatever you put along negative y has to be negative. 
and net force is equal to zero, right? Net force is mass times acceleration. Our person is at rest. So what happens? Net force is equal to zero. So immediately you see that normal force is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck. Thank you.